a, a friend of mine called me earlier this week. They were having, they were having relationship issues. And so my friend's boyfriend broke up with her. They're now on a break. And we all know what that means. When you go on a break, uh, it's done. And what he told her was this weird sticky line I didn't really understand. He said, I won't date you because you don't value community enough. I was like, what does that mean? Like, what are you talking about? Is that a joke? What do you mean she doesn't value community enough? That's not even, there's no substance there. It doesn't mean anything. It's just buzzword. You're saying things because it sounds smart. It sounds like something, it sounds like a good reason to break up with someone. It's not, by the way. It was stupid. And I just, I've been noticing that we do the same thing with quarterbacks. Everybody's saying all this stuff. You know, Baker Mayfield, he's a winner. Why? What well, doesn't matter? So that doesn't even mean anything. There's no substance. Just like saying some buzzword, you know, oh, she doesn't value community. Do you know what that actually means? You can't define it. When she confronted him, she said, what does that mean? He said, well, uh, you don't hang out with your friends enough. It's like, Pfft. it's just some crap your mom told you. When you, tell, when you tell me Baker Mayfield should be the number one overall pick because he's a winner, that has no substance. That means basically nothing. You know who's a winner? Jalen Hurts. Jalen Hurts, the Alabama quarterback. I believe he's like 26 and two in the last two years. I mean, he's unbelievable. He's a winner. Ooh, it means nothing. Being a quote unquote winner in college does not actually mean you're a great quarterback. Because a lot of people win games. And it's just annoying to me that the Browns especially keep throwing around uh, Browns fans, people defending Baker Mayfield, even their general manager. The one phrase, I can get over the rest. The one phrase that kills me is, Baker Mayfield is a winner. That means nothing. Look, I believe in Baker Mayfield. I like him. He's good at reading defenses. He's got good enough arm strength. He's got incredible accuracy. Baker Mayfield, I'm even okay with Browns coaches saying, Baker Mayfield has overcome a lot of adversity in his life. When people say that, if, if the Browns coaches and the Browns fans would say, we like Baker Mayfield because he walked on twice. When the going gets tough, he doesn't give up. That's more substance than he's a winner. Because he's a winner doesn't mean anything. Or even say this. You could even say we believe in Baker Mayfield as a leader. I like that more than he's a winner. The one, just please, for the love of God, stop saying Baker Mayfield is a winner. That means nothing. It's stupid. It's ridiculous. Colt McCoy's a winner. Colt Brennan, Kellen Moore, Jalen Hurts. There are so many quarterbacks in college that are quote unquote winners. doesn't mean anything. So stop throwing that language around. Do not, please, for the love of God, do not call Baker Mayfield a winner. It means nothing. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Help me grow strong opinion sports by telling your friends about this show. Share it on Facebook, on Twitter, on Instagram, whatever it is. Tell your friends, help me grow strong opinion sports. And remember, you can subscribe on iTunes, on SoundCloud, and on YouTube. Tell your friends, subscribe to the show. Thank you so much. Have a great day.